assalamu alaikum uh, dear viewers uh, welcome to my new class uh, today i will teach you about the mechanism of action or mode of action of different antibiotics uh, so first of all uh, as we have already discussed uh, uh, that uh, antibiotic uh, these are the chemical substances which are capable to inhibit or to kill the growth of microorganisms uh, then we have already uh, talked about the broad spectrum antibiotic and narrow spectrum antibiotics so let's take a start from mechanism of action of drugs uh, mechanism of action of drugs or antibiotics so antibiotics uh, actually uh, they act by disrupting various molecular targets within bacterials and cell surface uh, it can uh, preventing the growth or initiating the killing which I have already discussed that uh, actually these antibiotic can directly targets uh, some particular areas within the bacteria and cell surface are preventing the growth or initiating carrying there are three broad mechanism of antibiotic so first of all this antibiotic will disrupt the bacterial cell envelope the second one is uh, this antibiotic will block the production of new proteins so whenever there is formation or production of new uh, uh, proteins inside uh, the body inside the body of that uh, bacteria of that pathogen so definitely uh, the disease stage become advanced uh, the third one is uh, they are also responsible for the inhibition of DNA replication so DNA replication it can be copying of DNA it can be inhibited so there are three uh, basic mechanism through which the drug can uh, uh, show their mechanism action mode of action okay uh, now let's uh, this is very uh, easy to understand uh, look at the structure of microorganism let's suppose this is mycobacteria this is, let's suppose this is microorganism or bacteria so you can see here this is microorganism bacteria uh, inside the bacterial cell uh, you can see uh, the ribosome messenger RNA DNA uh, as we know that uh, that whenever uh, there is the property of DNA deoxyribonucleic acid messenger RNA ribosome so it means that the bacteria is life and then uh, look at here uh, this is the cell wall so which is surrounded by the bacteria cell now what will be happen so this is very easy to understand mm, the basic concepts of uh, drug uh, or the antibiotic mechanism so you can see uh, the double helix structure of DNA inside the a bacterial cell and this is messenger RNA ribonucleic acid so DNA is double strand and RNA is single strands uh, this is dihydrofolate this is ribosome uh, 50s 50s and this is 30s this one is 30s 30s subunit and 50s subunits uh, try to uh, remember uh, the mechanism of action or mode of action of different antibiotic uh, by this methods. Uh, come to all, so the first uh, uh, one is cell wall synthesis inhibitor. So, what are the name of these antibiotics which come under the category of cell wall synthesis inhibitors? As we know that, this is the bacterial cell wall. This is what? This is the bacterial cell wall now we are going to target the cell wall of that bacteria in order to uh, target the cell wall of that bacteria uh, we will apply certain antibiotics uh, against uh, these bacteria so actually this is the cell wall so cell wall uh, whenever a uh, certain drugs are antibiotic they can directly apply uh, especially uh, on these uh, bacteria on these microorganisms so then these antibiotics are capable to inhibit it or they will destroy the complete uh, structure of that organism the complete shape it will inhibit the growth of microbes to kill them now let's see here 
साइक्लोसिरीन वेनकोमाइसिन बेसेट्रीसिन पेनिसिलीन सिपालोस्पोरिन मानोबैक्टम एंड कार्बापेनेम्स ऑल दीज आर वॉट ऑल दीज आर बेटालेटम ऑल दीज आर एंटीबायोटिक्स ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक्स एंड दीज एंटीबायोटिक्स इट्स मेकेनिज्म अपेक्शन दीज आर ऑल्सो नॉन एस सेल वॉल सेंथिस इनहेबिटर्स Why they are known as cell wall synthesis inhibitor? Because these antibiotic have the capability tendency to block to to stop the actually the productions of certain uh, substances, materials like ribosomes and many and more. So they can uh, block the cell wall. they can inhibit uh, actually uh, they cause inhibitions uh, by the process tra transpeptidations uh, another one is uh, uh, so there is uh, uh, another antibiotic that is trimethoprim and sulfonamide so trimethoprim and sulfonamide its mechanism of action it can block the folic acid synthesis so inshallah i will um, explain all these things in my next classes Uh, folic acid metabolisms actually they are stopped by the trimethoprim and sulfonamides which are bacteriostatic as well as bactericidal so it can block the production of folic acid synthesis uh, so these folic acid synthesis uh, they are produce so after production of folic acid synthesis the drug can block the folic acid synthesis through it the microorganism can directly survive now let's see here this is cytoplasmic uh, membrane structure this is polymyxine deptomycin this is paraimmuno benzoic acid and this is cytoplasmic membrane and this is cell wall okay now uh, protein synthesis inhibitors are you going these are protein synthesis transporter there is uh, myoperucines and furomycin these are protein synthesis inhibitors while uh, another group of antibiotic that is tetracycline spectenomycin uh, streptomycin gentamicin canamycin emecacin and nitrofurans now and then come to our another group of antibiotic that is called erythromycin uh, which are macrolides chlorampenicol clindamycin lancomycin so these are actually protein synthesis inhibitor of pepts inhibitor pepts ribosomal units as we know that ribosomes so this is one of the important component of the cells mean of the uh, bacteria so whenever these ribosome they are responsible for the production of proteins so we must will have to inhibit we must will have to stop the growth of these proteins whenever there is production of uh new proteins so it mean that the uh, chances of survival of microorganisms uh well increases so in order to stop the growth of microorganisms we must will have to apply certain antibiotics uh then come to our another group that is called uh, rifampicina rifampicina strepto varicina so these are dna directed rna polymerase one is a uh, uh, actinomycin which cause our in a elongation and another group is quinolone uh, so which include nilidexic acid uh, ciprofloxacin and you no know, biosin that is dna kinase so they can uh, directly act on the dna kinase okay now uh, let's come toward the different groups uh, so the first one is beta lactam antibiotic which i have already explained that beta lactam antibiotic are those and with the beta lactam ring is present so it's example the example of the classical example of the beta lactam antibiotic you can see here in this table so these are uh, penicillin cephalosporins uh carbapenems and monobactam so these are the classical example of beta lactam the mechanism of action or mode of action is very simple so it can inhibit cell wall synthesis in that particular microorganism in that bacteria uh the properties of beta lactamases so these are bactericidals and the time dependent 
and it has long uh, post antibiotic effect on gram positive like carbapenem so they are also against gram negative the second one is glycopeptide so glycopeptide is another group of antibiotic which include vancomycin and tacoplanins and telemicins they are also responsible to inhibit the cell wall synthesis so it can it can cause inhibition of cell wall synthesis uh, as well as uh, this is the time dependent post antibiotic effect another group of antibiotic that is called macrolides and uh, uh, catrolides uh, which include azithromycin or uh, telethromycin and erythromycin clarithromycin so macrolide and catrolides uh, which include uh, these uh, groups these antibiotics so these antibiotics they are responsible uh, to cause inhibition of proteins so they can inhibit protein synthesis so in simple words they are also called protein synthesis inhibitors they are called protein synthesis inhibitors macrolides and catrolides uh, these are what these are bacteriostatic it can only inhibit the growth of microorganism it doesn't kill the spores of microorganisms so it is time in concentration dependent and long forced antibiotic effect pa okay so another one is uh, aminoglycoside so aminoglycoside this is another group of antibiotic uh, which include uh, the gentamicin amikacin tobramycin and nitromycin streptomycin and all these antibiotic aminoglycoside the actual the exact mechanism of action or mode of action of these antibiotic so it can inhibit the protein synthesis while the probably these are also called aminoglycosides are also called what protein synthesis inhibitors macrolides are also called protein synthesis inhibitors glycopeptides are cell wall synthesis inhibitor and beta lactamase is called in and they are also called cell wall synthesis inhibitor so it belongs to the same category they have same mechanism of action same mode of actions uh aminoglycosides um uh there are some uh, properties which are uh, which belong to aminoglycosides so that is bacteriocide agent it means that aminoglycosides can inhibit protein synthesis but they are bacteriocidal it can kill the microorganism along with its spores but they are concentration dependent and post antibiotic effect uh come to our another group that is called tetracycline and <coughs> glycycline's glycycycline so this is uh, another group of antibiotic which include tetracycline tegacycline doxycycline minocycline uh, the mode of action mechanism of action of these agents are these drugs so they these are it can inhibit the protein productions it can inhibit the protein formations especially which is occurs inside the body of the microorganism and such bacteria so it can stop the growth of those proteins which are formed inside the body of bacteria but tetracycline and glycosides cycline these are bacteriostatic and time dependent and long post antibiotic effect quinolones uh, this is another group of antibiotic which include uh, cefrofloxacin norfloxacin leofloxacin and moxifloxacin so i'm not talking about the generation of antibiotic i'm just talking about the groups and its basic categories basic in, uh, the antibiotic which belong to these special groups uh, now let's suppose if someone is ask you or uh, tell me about the names of those antibiotic which belong to quinolones so you can simply answer that uh, quinolone con quinolones include ceprofloxacin norfloxacin leofloxacin and moxifloxacin quinolone they are responsible to inhibit the dna gyrase so they can directly stop or inhibit the dna gyrase which is the name of the enzyme so gyrase or topoisomerase these are bactericidal in nature and it, they are concentration dependent and long post antibiotic effect i think this is very easy to understand no need to uh, confused uh, 
Uh, so uh, once again, so these are the which I have already explained about quinolones. Another group is lencosamides. So lencosamides include clindamycin. Clindamycin. Uh, these are the group of antibiotics which have the tendency and capability uh, to inhibit the protein synthesis or protein productions. Uh, the properties of lencosamide that is bactericidal or bacteriostatics. Lencosamides uh, they are either bacteriostatics as well as bactericidal, so this is time dependent and post antibiotic effect. Another group that is called streptogramins, so these are another group of antibiotics which include quinopristins and delpopristins. And these drugs also cause inhibition of the protein formation, protein productions which are bactericidal in nature. And having post antibiotic effect. Post antibiotic effect means uh, whenever, let's suppose after administration of certain antibiotic, these antibiotic will must show some effects after its administration, after its use. Axa, uh, axalitions. This is another group of antibiotics, or you can say uh, axalidinones. So these are another group of antibiotic. So uh, which include lenozylates. Lenozylates is actually this is the drugs which can inhibit the protein formation, protein production, which is bacteriostatic in nature and time dependent PA. Another one is lipopeptide. So lipopeptide include deptomycin, which can destroy the cell membrane, the cell membrane structure. This is the mechanism of action, mode of action of deptomycin, lipopeptides, which is bactericidal in nature and concentration dependent, long PAG. Another one is polymexine. So polymexine is as uh, it include cholestine and polymexine B. So it can also destroy the cell membrane structures. Is bacteriocidal in nature and concentration dependent and PAE post post <coughs> antibiotic effect. Another one is another group is encymycine, so that include rifamphicines or rifamphine, which can which are responsible to inhibit the protein synthesis and it is bacteriocidal in nature and long PA. While another agent is chlorampenicol. So chlorampenicol is a group of antibiotics which belong to sulfonamides. So sulfonamides, they are also responsible for the, you can say, inhibit protein synthesis and they are bacteriostatic in nature. Another one is sulfur drugs. So sulfur drugs include sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprims, which you can see in the table. So they are responsible uh, for the inhibition of DNA synthesis as well as their bacteriosidal in nature and concentration dependent. Structure of the bacterial cell walls. Now, um, just review the structure of the bacterial cell wall, uh, which contain the rigid peptidoglycan layer, alternating amino sugars, NAG and acetyl glucosamine and NM, and acetyl muromic acids, cross linked by the peptide chains. Transpeptidation is the final stage in cross linkage of the linear glycan chains. Uh, inshallah, tomorrow uh, we will talk about the cell wall synthesis in better and details, uh, which are also known as beta lactam antibiotics. So, thank you so much for watching my lecture. So, inshallah, if you have any question regarding my lecture, so inshallah, I am always available for your services. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much.